everybody, hope you're well. Wanted to introduce today uh, a tool um, which is in better from Maco Simulations, uh, which will really help you on that sim. Maco Simulations have produced the amazing Manchester and Birmingham airports so far, but they've been working in conjunction with some of the other streamers to come up with a tool that will really help anybody that is flying online. So welcome to the Scratchpad. The link is in the description and this is free of charge software which will help you. Just walk you through it quickly and give you an example of how it all works um, and then you'll be able to go and download it and use it. First of all, um, it, the way this is laid out, uh, the first page is for your clearance. Second page is your departure details. En route will be any air traffic control information you get and then arrival is still yet to be developed. Okay, so for the application to work, we need to complete all of the information across the top. First thing we'll select is our airline. So we are British Airways. Our flight number is on here, 2064. We're departing Birmingham EGBB. And let's just say we're going to Ibiza. L-E-I-B and now we can see our flight numbers across the top for use with air traffic control so our aircraft will be the A320neo we know we're at stand 8C the 80s information you'll get from the, um, the ATIS report. Now, if they're not online, obviously not needed. But I can see that our information on our ATIS is Delta. The ATIS says that the runway in use is 33. And I'm just looking at my flight plan, expecting the Luvum 1 mic departure. And then my departure time, I'm expecting to go at 10.00. What I can now do is click the Insert Live Meta tab, which will give me information that we've got visibility of 10,000 meters. So we can change the meters in the settings and other things across here. Visibility miles. We've got six miles visibility now move that away. Winds 180 at 3 knots, temperatures 11 dew points 8 and quite low pressure at 997. There we can see we've got broken clouds at 1000 and a further layer of clouds at uh, 1500 feet broken as well. Now any other remarks that the air traffic control give us um, on the clearance? It may be the, minim, um, the initial altitude is 4,000 feet for argument's sake, we can put that in there as well. Okay, once the air traffic control gives us the information, it will give us a score as well, which we, should, we can add in, and it just becomes a really easy place for all the information. We're going to our departure tab now. Now, the air traffic controller may say to us, push back facing south. So we can simply go push back facing south. Typically, they'll give you one of the compass points to push back north, east, south, or west, and that's just to help you remember. Okay, so this next part is where we can log our taxi instructions. Now, there's some tips here which will really help you. If you type in an instruction and hit space, that will create a separate block. If you type in an instruction and press enter, you'll get a hold. As you can see above, if you type in an instruction and you press shift and enter, you'll get a hold short. Okay, so the controller may say Speedbird 2064, taxi holding point Echo 1, runway 33 via Echo. In which case, we know we're going to go Echo, space, 33, space, Echo 1, shift, enter. 
we got we can read that back taxi via echo to runway 33 holding short to echo one any other notes that he gives you again can be typed in underneath okay so the next tab is our en route tab now our controller may say speedbird 2064 descend to flight level 80 i could just type in f80 space and we can see flight level 80 you may say turn to a heading of 360 degrees I can just type in H360 space and then that's done as well you may say proceed direct to Coxie I could just type in DIR K O K enter or I could just type in DIR space K O K enter however I want to do that for my own purposes but it's a good way of keeping a record of all the instructions that you're given by the air traffic controller. The final tab is still under development and not quite working yet, but this will be very similar to our departure page where you'll be able to log instructions of when you've landed, how to get to your stand. This is free of charge and it's gonna be consistently updated and the link is in the description, so hopefully you'll find that of some use. Hope to speak to you all soon, and uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.